So I don't know if I titled this something you should do every day, or if I titled it something you should do every week, but regardless, you can do this every day, or you can do it once a week, because if you skip it for seven days, it'll stack up 35 daily quests for you to do. So like basically, if you do it every day, you get to do it five times a day. But like I said, if you miss a couple days, it'll stack those quests up for you, up to 35. You get a week's worth, right? Um, and you're probably wondering what we're doing. Essentially, all I did is I went to the call board and I grabbed the wanted Arkalash quest. It's going to be a different quest every day. It's not always going to be Arkalash, but it's the wanted quest. You're going to want to grab it. And then you're going to want to find where it is on the map. Today it's in Ajara. Yesterday it was in Ongoro Crater. Um, but you're going to want to grab that quest and go there. Oh, you're going to need a call board. But the cool thing about it is there's so many people here doing it already that someone else will probably have a call board down for you. Let's go over here and look. You can see there's a bunch of people farming them. I mean, yeah, and there it is, an Outlaws contract board. So what you're going to do is you're going to come here, like I said, you're just going to wait for this guy to spawn, and then you're going to help the group beat him down. Oh, Arkalash Lane. You come to the call board, turn it in. And then you scroll down until you see Wanted Arkalash, and you grab it again. Like I said, you can do this five times a day. You can do it five times a day. Or if you take a week off and come back, it'll save up to 35 of these for you. I posted a video of me opening 35 callboard caches, and that comes from this. All right? I, I hadn't done this before. So I went here, and they had 35 of them for me. So I did all 35 in a row. But as you can see, it's really quick, and you get 4,000 marks of ascension every time you do this. So you can effectively make 20,000 marks of ascension every day by just coming here and doing this. It, it takes like five minutes to get here, and it probably takes two or three minutes to complete all five runs. You can see he spawns really quick. Did I not get the quest? I didn't grab it again. Oh, I, I turned it in and didn't re-grab it last time. But you see you get a call board cache, too, which you can open. And you can get really good gear out of here. But it also vendors for a ton. I mean, that's nine gold off one try. You can also get ability and talent card packs from this. You can get uh, talent and ability reroll packs from this. So, oh, am I going to hit him? Did I hit him? Yeah, I did. Sweet. But yeah, you can get a lot of stuff from this. I mean, primarily, you just want to use it to make gold. You want to use it to make marks of ascension. Um, but you, you do get other stuff from it. Like, we got an ability card pack. That's pretty sweet. We got a legendary out of it, too. That's awesome. You get the uh, talent card rerolls and the ability card rerolls. Yeah, it doesn't take long. It's not very hard to get here. I mean, most of the time, you can just take the teleporter thing. Dude, I didn't grab the quest after I took it in again. What a headache. Um, but yeah, you know, like, when you're in, um, say you're in Orgamar, you can run to the little teleporter thing right here, and you can teleport to somewhere close by, or you can buy the feather off the auction house for pretty cheap to unlock all the flight paths. Either way, it works pretty good to get here. Like I said the other day, it was on World Crater, and it's like I had bought the feather, so I just flew to Angara. I'm gonna use that. I think that was the fourth one. Did I grab the quest? I didn't. So yeah, I think this is gonna be our last time getting to do it. Trying to show off some of the loot you can get. You can get like Zolgarub gear. I believe, yep, I was just about to say, I believe I've got heroic gear out of here too. So you can get heroic gear off this. Also, whenever you open a call board cache, there's a chance to get a bonus call board cache from it, which is pretty cool. wrap this up and then I will go back to a city and sell everything and see how much we made. Is this our last run? Yeah, that's it for the day. So like I said, five a day. But if, if I didn't do it today, tomorrow when I log in, I would get to do it 10 times. You know? Or if you log in at the end of the week, you'd get to do it 35 times total. That's what I ended up doing the other day. Um, and I made a lot of gold. I think I made like 300 something gold doing it all 35 times so it's about 10 gold per pack i think that's a prestigious thing we're not gonna open that well met i think you get gold for turning the quest in too yeah well only a couple it looks or no that that's from opening the chests yeah so you get 4,000 marks you get mystic orbs you get mystic runes 
I get gold from opening the chest, apparently. So that's two gold. How much, actually, how much gold do I have? So I have 178 gold. I'm just going to vendor everything. Except for maybe... The, mm, and we'll vendor that. And now we're up to 220 gold. Like I said, it took like five minutes. And just as well, I got a ton of Marks of Ascension off it. I got a ton of Mystic Orbs and a ton of Mystic Runes off it. We even got some uh, Talent and Ability Card Packs. Which, I mean, you already seen me rip one and then there's two more. And then you already seen me open one of these and there's two more of those. And like I said, that's just from one day. It literally took me 10 minutes to get there and do this. And I made a ton of gold, Marks of Ascension. I got some re-rolls and some skill cards. It's something you almost have to do every day. If you're not doing that, you're missing out.